Skillsoft and IBM Research, collaborating together to harness big data to improve user engagement and learning outcomes. To best illustrate how big data analytics understands and applies consumption patterns, let's look at Acara, a fictitious US medical devices firm currently expanding in various growth markets. Career success content is commonly used by employees at Acara and is consumed by more people than Solaris is. Some types of content have many common users, while other combinations have only a few. In some cases, seemingly unrelated content is related through common usage patterns. And it's only when we apply big data analytics across the company and across many users that we can identify such usage patterns. We also can identify how these patterns evolve with time. Let's look at Sarah. Sarah is an Akara employee who aspires to be a cross-geography project manager. Through this heat map, we can see her content consumption patterns from a few weeks ago. Recently, though, she was staffed on a project in China and has now been consuming content related to that new role. Previously, her content interaction was spread across the week, like the overall population. But now, with multiple client meetings on Wednesday and Friday, her preferences have shifted. Skillsoft is building a powerful big data engine that will analyze the consumption patterns of its 20 million users. But what does this mean to Sarah? This means Sarah's learning experiences will not only be customized to her past preferences, but also to the consumption patterns of Skillsoft's 20 million users. With big data analytics, we can create personalized learning recommendations and then explain to Sarah why those recommendations were made. Is it because users like her liked the content? Because she liked similar content in the past? Or because it was content that was fast becoming popular in Akara? With big data analytics, we can anticipate just the right time that Sarah needs to be engaged. While monitoring her activity, the system assesses her day of week preferences and fuses that with knowledge of her desired interaction frequency to deliver a seamless learning experience. This process begins when a decrease in activity is detected on the weekend. Noting that Sarah doesn't usually consume learning on the weekends, the system does not take any action, but continues to monitor her behavior. However, on Monday, it sees that Sarah still has not returned, even though many of her content interactions typically occur on this day. Also at this time, the behavior model predicts that Sarah transitioned from a highly engaged to a less engaged state, and therefore the system knows it is now the perfect time to alert Sarah with a personalized recommendation. Sarah now begins engaging with the recommended content and is able to quickly acclimatize in her new role as a cross-geography project manager and successfully deliver the project in China.